Hey, vinyl community, uh, independent viewers, and other YouTubers. Uh, this is a music update. Um, I recently bought one album that I'm showing, and that led me to pull out a bunch of other ones that are sort of related to it. So, the one album that I got was this uh, Frank Fromey. And the title is, uh, well, you can see the title up there. Sort of translates as uh, Four Mutants Axes. Or axes. I don't know if it's a plural or if it's referring to a sharp bladed uh, tool. This is sort of in the uh, progressive chamber rock type uh, sound. Uh, there's the label. Musea. Mr. Fromey was, uh, had previously been in the band, uh, Shub Nagurath. So I think this album was put out around 1989. Uh, this one is um, 86. Originally issued in 86. This is uh, on Musea. And this is a 1997 reissue on Gazool. So this has uh, first song on side one, Ligeia, um, indicates that it's something like an Edgar Allan Poe poem or story set to music. But so we got that. Um, they're sort of in the vein of, uh, um, I said chamber, dark chamber music, uh, neoclassical, progressive rock, uh, sort of related to other bands like uh, Universe Zero or Artsoid. And altogether, they were sort of, uh, you know, encompassed by a loose collective known as uh, Rock in Opposition, which uh, Henry Cow started in. Late 78, I think. But there were several bands associated with it. Uh, I don't think Shub Nagurath was uh, originally, but they, you know, their sound is very similar. But uh, Universe Zero was. So here's, I think this is their first album. 1977. Yeah, August 77 it was recorded. This is a 1989 uh, reissue on Cuneiform Records. Thirteen Thirteen is uh, how it was issued in the U.S. The songwriters for this, uh, Daniel Dennis did three, he's the drummer, and uh, Robert Trigo, two of the songs, he's the guitarist. So that's their first album. Uh, this is their second, uh, no, this is their third album. Kute the whores. Do the whores, I mean. I forgot what that uh, translates to, but this is the uh, EF label. I think 
that's out of Belgium. This is the uh, what the band looked like at the time of this issue. Again, sort of chamber rock. Um, like I said, uh, Robert Trigo was the guitarist, and he left, and he formed this band, uh, Present. This is their, I think, second album. First one was uh, Trista Decophobia, which I think is Fear of Number 13, which I don't know if that's a reference to the first album, which was called 1313, or just a title that they thought was interesting. But they poisoning Kirin Another cuneiform issue. Nineteen eighty five, and there's uh, Mr. Trigol. Had another, several other albums. Um, several of them are just CD only. Here's one, uh, COD Performance by Present. This was October '93. Put out on the Lowlands label. This. Uh, Artwork was by uh, Roger's son, Reginald. He also did the sketches there on the booklet. So it's uh, Sort of uh, in keeping of uh, art like um, Brueghel's. And I mentioned uh, Art, uh, art Zoid was you know, similar type, chamber rock, rock and opposition, uh, related band. Uh, I need to re glue this. But uh, this one's this one's called Berlin on uh, Coma Records, 1987, and then Henry Cow. Band Henry Cow was the uh, instigator of this uh, rock and opposition movement, and they had a but at, uh, sponsored a concert in '78 and invited uh, some of the bands shown, um, some other bands, Stormy Six from Italy, uh, Samla, Mamas, Mana, uh, Sweden, I think. Et and Fru Dubala, which was French. So this was um, that late 70s period. This is Henry Cow, uh, Western Culture. On the Interzone label. 1980. Uh, one of the main members of this was Fred Frith, guitarist. And 
couple of albums, Fred Fifth related, uh, Gravity. This was put out by Ralph Records, who also uh, had many of the resident releases on their label. Fred Frith, The Technology of Tears. Uh, this one I think I've shown before. Uh, I think this, this is 1987. LP set. Getting away from the uh, chamber rock sound or avant garde sound to this. French Frith, Kaiser, and Thompson. So Richard Thompson, Henry Kaiser, John French, and Fred Frith on uh, Rhino Records. bluish side and a reddish side. So more uh, avant pop type music. Um, also related to the rock in opposition as uh, another band Art Bears which was again a Fred Frith band. This was several members that were in Henry Cow and they reformed this group, Art Bears. This is a, uh, a twofer which in, in, contains winter songs and the world as it is today. Fred Frith, Chris Cutler, and Dagmar Krauss on both as a vocal. This was on uh, Recommended Records. Put out a lot of uh, the rock and opposition uh, associated bands. Uh, more Fred Frith. This is a band called Skeleton Crew, Fred Frith and Tom Cora. 19... Uh, 84, Learn to Talk on uh, Recommended Records, Skeleton Crew, The Company of Blinds, Tom Cora, Fred Frith, and now they are joined by Zena Parkins on uh, Gorgon, Electric Harp, Accordion, Drums, and Singing. Rift. Eighty five. And here's uh, Dagmar Krauss from Art Bears Supply and Demand doing the songs of Breck, Thiel, and Eisler. Uh, the Hannibal label put out a bunch of Richard Thompson related stuff 1986 so song oriented and uh, Peter Legbad Downtime. This is 
on uh, ESD label, Eastside Digital. Featuring Chris Cutler was on here, John Greaves, um, Tony Naomi from uh, Air Ubu, and then finally, uh, again, sort of associated with the sound, progressive rock, chamber rock, whatever you call it, uh, magma, attack. Was um, somewhere in that same time period, seventy-eight, on the tomato label. So that was the uh, music update to show the one album that I uh, purchased, the Frank Fromey, and all the other ones were just sort of loosely related to that. So I've got some other, you can see this uh, box over here, I've got another, a couple other albums, so I've got another video planned, but it'll be several new acquisitions rather than just a single album so thanks everybody for watching i'll talk to you later